Welcome to Days in My Life at Harvard Medical School. So I knew this day, a Monday, was going to be a long day. I had my midterms the next day, so I knew I was probably going to sleep very late or even pull an all-nighter. And yet I also had to wake up at 4 a.m. to work on an internship that I had. I also was trying to get back on my exercise habit, so I tried to make up some time in the middle of my project to exercise, but I hope I'm doing those squats right. <laughs> it's quite difficult for me at first to divide my time when I started going to Harvard. There are a lot of readings, a lot of assignments, a lot of pre-lecture materials that I had to watch and it was quite new to me but I actually really like the flip classroom method I feel like I retain materials much better with that system anyway uh, I'm also lucky that this semester is more chill than the last one and I had a lot of classes that start at noon and I also no longer have classes in Cambridge I only have classes at the Longwood campus of Harvard Medical School which is closer to my apartment so I'm saving a lot of time on commute I usually only make shakes for my breakfast I'm too lazy to cook anything complicated. My favorite recipe is almond milk, some turmeric, some spices, and this amazing product called Amazing Grass that helps me get my daily dose of greens without actually eating vegetables. But I probably should also get better in that regard. I also took up lots of new hobbies including hydroponic gardening, which I'm not sure why, but people say everyone who studies abroad will take up new hobbies, so I guess this is mine. I also find that I need to have some life hacks to help me define my time better. So, for example, doing laundry. I now do it on the way to school, so I'm, I would put my clothes in the washer before going and when I return to my apartment, I will be ready to move into the dryer. This is actually my first spring. I've never experienced spring before in my life and it is more beautiful than I thought. And here we are at the Harvard Medical School campus, which is, of course, very stunning. I know that you are having a hard time right now. That everything seems to crumble around you. I know that you. My main interest is cancer immunology, so the class that I'm taking this day is a cancer immunology class. And it is held in another of Harvard's buildings, the Pasteson Medical Education Center, which has lots of clinical skills facilities and fancy equipment that I never seen in my previous medical school. I already have an MD degree from Indonesia. I'm here for a master's degree in immunology and I hope to become a physician scientist in the future. I feel very privileged to be in the Harvard system. And now it's time to get back home and study. This is the only one of my course that has midterms. The other ones have collaborative work and presentations for most of the grades, but this one midterm counts for quite a lot, so I have to study. I'm mostly doing reviewing recorded lectures and reading my notes. I usually take time to watch the lectures before 
class and then take notes in class and then after that I find that I only need to do the review before the midterm So I went back home at about 4 and by this time it's almost 10 p.m. and I was a bit sleepy and bored so I decided to take a break and make some tea, build up my humidifier for my plants. I really love that tea warmer that I bought on Amazon. And I also had to read some paper because I have a meeting with my PI the next morning. I'm going to work on exciting new projects on car T cells, so very excited to start that. I washed my hair in the early morning and had the call with my PI. And then I continued studying because my midterm only starts at 2 p.m. When I was shooting this, the weather was quite warm, but by the time I'm recording this voiceover, the winter isn't over as I had thought it would be. I feel quite nostalgic looking at this footage, like days where I could wear sandals again instead of boots. Really hoping that the weather would get better soon. And this is the cafe at Harvard Medical School and this is on the way to the class where I have most of my lectures and midterms in the immunology wing of Harvard Medical School. The Nobel laureates might be my favorite part of the entire HMS building. And now we're done with the midterms, I couldn't record um, the class during lectures or midterms, I think it was against HMS rules, but it went quite well. It was open book, so it wasn't as challenging as I thought it would be. After that, I had more time to do my hobby, which is cooking and shopping at Trader Joe's. <laughs> This is some bok choy that planted in my hydroponic garden and I was making beef stir fry today. I downloaded an app called Intent. This is not sponsored. I really love that app. It tells me healthy recipes with the calorie count and also the shopping list for the week which is very helpful. And I find that the recipes really taste good so I am hooked on that app and it really helps me have a healthier lifestyle and I basically spend the rest of the day editing essays. My government provides scholarships for graduate degrees abroad, so I had to review probably 30 to 50 essays in that application season. The next day, I'm getting ready for class. I thought I would have time to chill after the midterms are over, but turns out I still have quite a lot to do. I do take up lots of responsibilities other than being a student. I am part of a task force in Think20 and also I work on an Indonesian student organization outside of HMS. They are probably not necessary but um, I just enjoy that. And my passion is also translating research to policies so I really love doing this. It's still quite challenging for me sometimes to divide my time, but I'm getting into the rhythm more and hopefully I'll keep improving. Thank you for watching my video and see more of my journey. Follow my Instagram and subscribe to see my next videos. Bye!